This is about the FBI is now investigating uh, the funds that were transferred to Juan Guaido. Most of you know Juan Guaido is the fake president of Venezuela. He never received a single vote for president of Venezuela. The U.S. just, by the way, he went to, uh, he, he was a student at Georgetown. And he went to, uh, he went to Georgetown and he was declared, I don't know how old he was. I swear he was like 30 or something. He was a kid. And he was declared president of Venezuela by the United States. And the U.S. empire tried to pressure everyone they could to also acknowledge Juan Guaido, someone who never received a single vote for president of Venezuela, as president of Venezuela. They tried to get them to acknowledge he was president. And they got they ultimately got 50 countries to acknowledge him as president. But then those countries slowly started petering away. And it got down to about 19 or 15 or something. And now you're to the point that even the U.S., acknowledges that Juan Guay, I mean, they meet with Maduro. So they just had a, a prisoner swap with Maduro where they released Alex Saab, a longtime political prisoner arrested by the United States. Um, anyway, international media has reported how the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation has is investigating the destination of multi-million dollar funds, multi-million funds. Yeah, they. that's a typo. Approved by the White House as humanitarian aid for the government of the self-proclaimed Venezuelan president, Juan Guaido, according to reports. Well, and that's hilarious on its face that they're giving him humanitarian aid. But since he's not the president of Venezuela, what's he going to do with that aid? How many people is he going to be able to give the aid to if he's not actually president of Venezuela? But he didn't give. They stole it. He and he and others stole it. According to reports, the FBI visited the headquarters of EVTV Miami Channel, run by media entrepreneur Carlos Mendez, to question him about the diversion of funds to his media outlet. The FBI suspects that much of the humanitarian aid is supposedly directed to Venezuela ended up in the possession of Mendez and his channel, which Guaido tried to replace Telesor with. So Telesor, television channel, you've heard of it. Uh, it was partially or largely funded by Venezuela. So they tried to create a competing channel that would do U.S. and, and uh, pro-Western propaganda against Venezuela. So they created this uh, propaganda channel, EVTV. They then give millions and millions of dollars to that channel, which is then stolen by the people that run the channel, as, as well as associates of Juan Guaido. Telesor reported that sources close to Guaido, whose identity was not specified, said that Mendez would have to clarify what the federal agents were looking for in his channel and how much money he received from Guaido. Democratic spokesperson stated that Mendez would also be implicated in the embezzlement of funds granted during the administration of former President Donald Trump. The embezzlement funds from the Trump administration exceeded $2 billion. $2 billion were sent to Guaido and others and disappeared. I mean, can you imagine how rich these thieves are? It's uh, The amount of money is just unbelievable that was stolen from Venezuela. And a lot of this money technically didn't even come from the U.S., which the U.S., we have an infinite money spigot, so we could have just given them money that we made up on a computer because we can make up all the money we want. But the, a lot of it was stolen from Citco, which is a gas company that was owned by Venezuela, but the U.S. basically stole it. Uh, and then billions of dollars in Venezuelan gold that was held in the Bank of London, uh, Bank of England in London, and they just stole that as well. So a lot of this money was stolen from Venezuela, then given to this clown, Guaido. And by the way, even the opposition party in Venezuela no longer uh, respects Guaido. <laughs> like even the people who are not president, who are supposed to be on Guaido's side in Venezuela, they don't say he has any power anymore. Thank you, Zazoto, for the uh, for the donation. Appreciate it. Um, but of course, I don't have a lot of faith that the FBI will ultimately get to the bottom of this because if push comes to shove, the FBI is going to be answerable to the same corporate clowns that did this in the first place. So... But at least they're investigating it. I guess that's half a step in the right direction. I'm not really sure. Uh, so, yeah. 
that it, it is a, a, yet another topic where I've been right from day one. From day one, when the U.S. said Juan Guaido is the president of Venezuela, I told you it was bullshit. I told you it was thieves and clowns. I told you it was meaningless. And all of that has uh, been proven true, although your mainstream media won't even mention it, right? They're not even talking about it. Barely.